Good morning. How you doing, party people? Currently in Sydney, Australia. And this is gonna be a video, day in the life, as well as why I've come all the way to Australia. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can see the opera house right there. You can see the Harbour Bridge just peeking out. I wish this big blue fence wasn't here, but they're in construction. Basically, almost reaching a year of me leaving the US. Started in the Netherlands and made it all the way to Thailand before popping over here with a job and basically setting up life here for a year. I'm no longer working that job. Currently I'm working as a freelance graphic designer and community builder for Escape Your Hometown. Like one thing I found, and I've spoken about this in my video of Australia versus the US, you're much slower pace of life. Everyone in the US strives, everyone in the US is always thinking like, oh, I'm the best, like I'm gonna make a million dollars. While here, everyone kind of has enough. And I didn't know that coming into here. And I think that's really what I needed. I always was always drawn to Australia. I've been meaning to come for three years now. The original plan was just visit for a month. We've taken a larger, <laughs> a larger detour. Just because I'm not tied down to the US, I decided to stay here for a year. Basically, I originally was thinking, get a job in sales, work on that or get just any job that'd make me a good amount of money, put some away and travel with after. But um, I had to leave my sales job and start out on this business journey, finally actually working on my own businesses full time. Mainly the reason I came here originally was to visit friends that I hadn't seen in years and I was always drawn to this country particularly. It was just the biggest leap I could take to get out of my comfort zone. Actually, you know, the biggest leap I could take was would be probably going somewhere that they didn't speak English, but I had to really know if I could recreate a social circle here, if I could start making friends here with absolutely nothing, if I could get a job here, and it's really just shown me that I can live in completely independently. Here is one place where nobody relies on me too. Because I've created my own independent life and I've structured it, where like even me and my flatmates, we live like completely different lives. Like I have no idea where they are right now. They have no idea where I am. And that's how we all live. Even if I want help from someone in the US, like if I want some advice on something, whatnot, I message them, I text them, or I have to call them and they usually don't pick up because it's usually night over there. I have to wait a full 24 hours until I can read their text message a lot of the time. That's the main reason was to get out of my comfort zone and see if I can create the life I want from scratch, which I've done. Basically, yeah, I work freelance during the day and then at night, work at a bar, no big deal. That's just something consistent. That way freelance does drop off at any point. I still have money coming in. And now I've kind of hit this point where before I was super motivated, got up at 8 a.m. every day, meditated. I meditated today for half an hour, but um, it's been hard this past week to really get out of bed and get stuff going. I have two client projects I have to work on. They're both simpler, so they're not stressing me out too much. And because nobody's relying on me here, I don't have a dog to walk in the morning. I kind of can just sleep in as much as I want, which I don't like. Um, I try set alarms and I just don't wake up for them. But um, yeah, that's what this independent lifestyle gives you. You really have to be self-motivated and I go through phases where I'm extremely motivated and go through phases where I'm not. And that's kind of what I'm in right now, kind of a trench of motivation. The one thing I am dependent on is I have a video editor for all these vlog type style videos. And he was like, hey, give me more content to edit. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna film a day in the life today. So that's what we're doing today. I just meditated on a bench over there and made sure to get some sunlight first thing in the morning because I wasn't feeling motivated. And I was like, all right, like if I continue not to feel motivated, I'll just go to the gym because I know that's one thing I really want to work on, getting more exercise in. So I've, I had this one client project that just took me out of the gym for two weeks. I could do that, but also I'm feeling motivated to get to work today. So I'll probably knock out a good chunk of this project, basically what the client has ready for me and then go to the gym after and I'll show you that process. And then I'll even show you, I mean, I showed you guys the bar that I work at, but um, I'll show you what a night looks like there as well. So catch you on the walk back. I'm trying to see what they're playing here. It's probably rugby. 
But yeah, some Saturday morning rugby in the park. I forget what the name of this park is, but it's just the closest one to my house. It's actually kind of a nice day out today. Sun's pretty bright, not a cloud in the sky. So maybe I'll work outside in a cafe, who knows? Oh, they're filming. So the biggest sport in New South Wales is definitely rugby. I know I showed you guys an AFL game. Rugby is big in Queensland and New South Wales and everywhere else is AFL. There's the name St. Leonard's Park. I thought it was St. Leonard's, but good vibe. Playground, a little stage. People are always out here with their dogs. People are, yeah, people are playing a lot of rugby. So just got off a client call of uh, doing some stuff on the computer. I should eat right now. I would have got home and this call that I had for t-shirt designs, I realized I was late to that. He scheduled it very last minute. So I was like, all right, I'll just call right now. But yeah, getting in on that. And that's some exciting stuff going back into t-shirts designs. That's how I basically got my start in graphic design was doing t-shirts for clubs and frats at school. And it's just exciting to start doing that again, for sure. Right now, continuing to do some of that stuff. I sorted all that. Now time to make some food. Gonna make a really, <laughs> really basic meal right now. So do not judge me. I just, I basically at this point I eat for calories and the rest is kind of just like, I'll eat out when I really want it. Working here, making some beef. Then we got the rice cooker having some rice. We gotta heat up some veggies that are in the fridge. That's gonna be lunch basically. So I forgot to vlog today, but we have a street turkey. I guess I'm gonna make this the end of the video. Uh, yeah, I ate a good nutritious dinner, protein shake, worked out with the flatmate. And yeah, hopefully this audio is going through the phone instead of through my headphones. Hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. We're posting content every single week. I just have to get more in the habit of vlogging from beginning to end of the day. Continue exploring, guys. Hope you have an epic day.